Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Here we talk about all things St. George, like working, living, and playing here. In today's video, we're going to take you on a tour of this incredible modern home in one of the most beautiful St. George neighborhoods, Divario. But before we dive into this video, I'd like to thank you all for reaching out to us, calling us, texting us, emailing us with all of your relocation needs. We know St. George and we know Southern Utah. We've helped so many of you relocate here intentionally and quite a few unintentionally. Lately, we've been meeting a lot of people at all sorts of public places like Costco, Walmart, uh, any of the local restaurants. We have people come up to us, shake our hand and say, hey, because of you, we've moved into this area. But you know, we're grateful that our information was helpful to you. But please do not hesitate to call us, text us or email us. Our phone lines are open any day of the week, even on the weekends. So if you're thinking about moving to St. George, call us. But enough about that. Before we dive into the tour of this home, I'd like to thank s, s Homes and Alicia Hauser for allowing us to tour this property. And let me give you guys some stats. So there's actually uh, a really good deal on this property right now. Most of Southern Utah real estate has been selling at a much slower pace. So a lot of builders and developers are starting to introduce some attractive options. And if you haven't looked into this already, you should ask your agent, or if you don't have an agent yet, ask me, how does a 2-1 buy down work? So it's a lender program that allows for the seller to temporarily buy down the interest rate for the buyers in order for you to have a more attractive monthly payment. And the, in case with this home, the builder will give you a credit up to $10,000 towards your closing costs or towards that buy down. So it may create a more comfortable purchasing environment for at least the first two years. And then hopefully you could refi within that period of time. Let me give you guys some stats about this home. First of all, the neighborhood. Devario is located up above Sunbrook Golf Course and the views are absolutely breathtaking. Just getting home and you know leaving this area, you pretty much have 360 degree views. And the back of this property overlooks a ravine and it gives you absolutely awesome views through floor to ceiling windows. This property is a four bedroom, two and a half bathroom, 2,500 square foot home and it is currently offered for $943,000. The front of this property features modern uh, design elements. It has a, I believe a 40 foot deep RV garage with a two car garage and a really modern appeal on the exterior. Now, a lot of these homes are situated kind of close by, but you get a decent amount of privacy from your neighbors, zero scape, uh, landscaping on the front with some desert plants and lava rock. This builder sealed the concrete that is leading up to the front door. And there are some matching stripes that go across the driveway. This front door is kind of a cool touch too. And this, this has become uh, progressively more common to see doors like this that you can see through. What do you guys think? I am personally, uh, a little bit torn on people being able to see from the outside in, but I know that this trend took off for a reason. So let me know in the comments below, how do you guys feel about these doors? So as we enter this property, it opens up to this massive hallway that takes you into a study or an office that could also be used as a bedroom that has three large windows that open up to the front of the property. Directly across, we have a bedroom and a bathroom, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. I don't want to hold out any longer. I want to show you guys how great the views are from the rear of this property. There are two massive sliders that turn this entire area into an indoor outdoor space. And this entire living room echoes quite a bit just because it's so open. It doesn't have any furniture in it yet. This home is brand new. So this triple slider will open all the way and allow access to this rear patio. There is another triple slider right next to the dining room. This fireplace has some nice stone that runs all the way up to the ceiling. And this home certainly has plenty of room to entertain. Kitchen has general electric gas appliances. 
with some really nice cabinets and a dual sink. And these views are absolutely incredible. So from here, you could see Pine Valley Mountain to the north, some red rocks uh, off to the side here, and that ravine behind you provides a great deal of rear privacy. You have a wall oven and a microwave. Directly across, we have a pretty substantially sized pantry. Take a look at this. You have some nice shelving across the perimeter and plenty of room to store things. Let's explore the, the guest wing of the home first. So going back towards the front of the property, here we have a powder with just a single vanity and a toilet. Directly across, we have a bedroom where this, I guess, could also be used as an office because this has um, LVP flooring that runs consistent with the rest of this home. And then going back towards the front of the property again, we have another full bath with a walk-in shower with a glass door. Really like all of the finishes that this developer selected. We have some really small subway tile uh, for the flooring in this shower. Nice solid surface countertops and uh, wood colored cabinets. And then this is the front bedroom. This bedroom opens to the front of the property and this home sits kind of up above the rest of the community. And you got some views even, even from the front. So it's incredible to think that just a few months ago, maybe a year ago, this all used to be just desert. This community is pretty new. Divario really got developed between 2021 and 2023. So this entire community is practically brand new and a lot of the homes here are very similar in age and style. There's a lot of modern architecture and some traditional Southwest architecture throughout this area as well. So this still takes me every, every time I walk through this home, across the entire back of this property, you have these massive sliders that open literally floor to ceiling. Now, let's just go down this hallway and let's check out the garage because I know a lot of our viewers are really interested in the garage and then the house after that. On our way to the garage, there's more storage. There is a utility slash coat closet here and a really good sized laundry room with a folding area, a hanging rod and several upper cabinets. The dryer can be either gas or electric. And they have some pretty cool tile on the floor. So this door takes us out in the garage. There is a tank water heater with a bypass for a water softener. The two car garage looks and feels to be extra wide and extra deep. And I really like this area in between your RV garage and your actual two car garage. You have another probably five feet of space where you could store things or give you the ability to move around. Now this garage is 40 feet deep and it spans all the way across to the back. It has a decent amount of ceiling height and I believe that door is 12 by 14. So you could, you could fit a pretty massive rig in here. This door takes you out into the side yard and I'll give you guys some more angles of the exterior of this home. Folks, if you're interested in seeing this home in person, please reach out to me. I would love to give you a private tour of this property. I will also put a link to the full MLS listing in the description below this video. It will link you to our website where you can check out this property and many other St. George homes. If you're even remotely thinking about relocating to Southern Utah, please do not hesitate text me today. My direct mobile number is in the description below this video. Let's explore the primary suite. It is directly behind the kitchen area and uh, you have a thermostat right outside of the primary bedroom. 
And here you have what could double as either a linen closet. And if this pantry wasn't big enough, ultimately you could still use this as an overflow pantry, if you will, because it's so close to the kitchen. As we enter the primary suite, you can see that it has plenty of room and you could comfortably accommodate a king size bed. But most importantly, these views are absolutely breathtaking. You have a double slider as well as two large windows that face to the north, northeast, I think. So you have views of Pine Valley Mountain, which looks absolutely incredible with these beautiful snow caps, a little bit of a blue mountain be below it and a little stripe of red rock. And there's nothing more pretty than red, white, and blue. So the master suite enters into a master bath. You have two vanities that are separate. One is slightly larger, the other one is smaller. A nice soaking tub and a little area to stack towels. I don't know what you would do with that area. Maybe put some decor on it. You have a water closet in this direction, as well as a nice walk-in shower that is fully tiled throughout and a master dressing that features plenty of hanging rods and plenty of space. Folks, I'm curious to know how do you feel about this style of homes? Do you like modern architecture? Do you like the views or are you more of a privacy type home shopper? I'm curious to know your opinion about this home. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down, but please do me a favor and let me know why and what could I do better in bringing this content to you. YouTube algorithm is so great, it will suggest a couple more videos up here that may be relative to what you're looking for, especially if you're looking to relocate to Southern Utah. Please do be sure to smash that subscribe button down below to make sure you stay informed on all of our future videos.